If you're trying to become a web developer, you've probably seen a hundred roadmaps online. But here's the problem. Most of those roadmaps are bloated, outdated, or just plain wrong. The truth is, the fastest way to break into web dev in 2025 looks nothing like what you've been told. And if I had known this when I started, it would have saved me months of wasted effort. In this video, I'm sharing the full web dev roadmap I wish someone had handed me on day one. Clear, modern, and built for how hiring works today. I'll also be sharing some important tips and tricks at the end, so stay tuned for that. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Web development can be divided into four parts. Let's start with the front end. The front end refers to the part of the site you can see and interact with. A traditional web page consists of HTML for the structure, CSS for the styling, and JavaScript for the functionality. You can learn basic HTML tags, forms, and layouts easily in a week or two. Remember, you only need to learn about 20% of HTML to get 80% of the results. CSS is like makeup for your web page. It makes it look nice and fresh. Start by learning some basic styling principles and building front-end projects using only HTML and CSS. Writing CSS can be painful and slow. To make CSS better and less frustrating, you'll need a CSS framework. I recommend using Tailwind CSS, as it is the industry's go-to for web development. Also, learn how to make your websites responsive so they look good on mobile and tablet devices too. This will take about two to three weeks. JavaScript brings your pages to life with interactivity, buttons, sliders, and animations. Start with syntax and core concepts, variables, functions, arrays, loops, and objects. Try some projects while learning, like building a simple to-do list app or a basic game. This will take you a solid one to two months. After learning all the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you'll need a web framework to effectively build great apps. There are many JavaScript frameworks, but I recommend going with React. It's the most supported and beginner-friendly. Learning React will take about a month or two. Time for the fun part of web development, the backend. When people start learning web development, the thing that scares them most is the backend. And honestly, it's not that scary once you understand it. The backend is the behind the scenes part of a web page. It makes your web page functional and useful. For the backend, you need to learn a backend programming language. Some options are Python, Java, Ruby, and JavaScript. I recommend sticking with JavaScript as it will be much easier and you won't have to learn a brand new language. You'll also need a backend framework. For JavaScript, that's Express. You'll spend at least two to three months learning the backend. Once you have both front end and back end, you'll need them to talk to each other. That's where APIs come in. APIs let your front end send and receive data from your back end. Later, you might also want to add authentication, like login and sign up, using tools like Firebase Auth or Passport.js. When your apps get large, you'll also need a place to store the data. There are two types of databases, relational and non-relational. Relational databases store data using tables, which consist of rows and columns. Some relational databases are MySQL, Oracle, and Postgre, but they're essentially the same thing. A non-relational database, also known as NoSQL, uses flexible data models like key value pairs, documents, graphs, or wide column stores. Some examples are MongoDB and Cassandra. I recommend going with MongoDB as it is the easiest to learn and gets the job done. Later, you can explore more options if you want. Learning a database will take you at least two to three weeks. Once your app works, it needs to go live and be version controlled. Git lets you track changes, roll back errors, and collaborate. Learn basic commands. Also learn how to use GitHub, branches, and pull requests for team collaboration. But your app isn't complete until it's online. You need to deploy it to a hosting platform. For front-end apps, Vercel and Netlify. For full-stack apps, Render, Railway, and Fly.io are great options. Here are some tips and tricks that will help you become a powerful web developer. Avoid tutorial hell. Don't just watch. Build something small after every concept. Action beats passive learning. Use free resources wisely. Check out Free Code Camp, The Odin Project, and Frontend Mentor. Document your journey. Share what you learn on X, LinkedIn, or a blog. It builds credibility and attracts opportunities. Work on real projects, clone websites, and build tools you'd actually use. Not only does it build confidence, it makes your portfolio stand out. Join a community. Being in a Discord server or Reddit group helps you stay motivated, get unstuck, and learn faster. This is the full roadmap that will get you from being an average person to a highly skilled web developer making a lot of money. But it takes more than just learning. You'll need to work hard, stay consistent, and keep upskilling yourself. If you want this entire roadmap in your pocket, I've created a clean, free PDF version. Link in the description. And if you want to increase your productivity as a developer, check out my last video on the top VS Code extensions that will seriously level up your workflow. 